Gavin Williams, who was my principal when teaching in New Zealand, once said that a school without children is one of the most depressing places you can be. So it's good that on Monday, our primary students will again return to school. It will be exciting to see the classrooms full, the playgrounds bustling with activity and the buzz of anticipation around the school again. I suspect that buzz will only be drowned out by the sighs of relief from our primary parents as they no longer need to take such a significant role in their children's learning. As I shared in last week's newsletter, when somebody with the experience of children's author Mem Fox has found supporting her grandchildren in their home learning challenging, I guess the rest of us shouldn't be too hard on ourselves. And if nothing else, the last four weeks have shown that schools will continue to play a significant role in society for the foreseeable future. With the primary school students coming back to school, the high school students will move across to room 13 where they will be supported there with a teacher and where possible a teacher's assistant helping them with their learning. There's a couple of things that we do need your help with. For those of you who pick up or drop off your children, please make sure that you remain in your vehicle and for safety purposes when you're dropping off have them come out of the rear passenger door. And also, there won't be any opportunity to drop children off prior to 8.15, and we encourage you to arrive after 3 p.m. to pick them up in the afternoon. There are still some things that we're working through in conjunction with Adventist Schools Tasmania, Independent Schools Tasmania, and the Office of the Education Registrar. One of these is exactly what our reports will look like this term. As we have more details, we'll make sure that we let you know. And if for any reason you plan to keep your child home, make sure you let us know that as well. I'd also like to assure you that we've stepped up our cleaning regime with the students returning to school. Working with our cleaners, teachers and the teacher assistants, we'll be regularly disinfecting classroom desks and chairs light switches, door handles, and other commonly touched surfaces. We'll also be providing frequent reminders for students to clean their hands, as well as opportunities for that to happen in each of the classrooms. Thanks for the opportunity to contribute to the development of your child. We're excited to have the primary students back, and I'm sure that the next two weeks will speed by quickly for our secondary students. We're wishing you God's richest blessings.